Welcome in everybody, it's Football Friday presented by the West Virginia Lottery. Tony Caridi along with Jed Drenning as West Virginia gets set to take on the Cyclones of Iowa State. Our matchup here in this game, the number one running back in the Big 12 Conference in Brees Hall, West Virginia's number two, Letty Brown. Let's talk about their offense. We've seen Brock Hurdy, perhaps more than we want. Break him down for us now. Well, first of all, you have to be fundamentally sound. One of the things I remember the last time we were out here, Tony, is the kid has this pump fake move. He'll force you to leave your feet. Once you do and commit, he's going to extend the play, get outside the pocket, and that causes incredible strain on your back end defensively. So you have to come into under control and be very disciplined because what he is, he's a pocket kid with athleticism. So he's athletic enough to hurt you on the perimeter, and you can't really let him get there and extend plays. For the first time this season, West Virginia will see a bevy of tight ends. Their mm -hmm. base is almost two tight ends. You'll see three at times what challenge does that present well first of all uh, the the shrimp in the room is six foot six right uh, the other two kids are six foot seven so from a size standpoint they're gonna move those kids around and look for mismatches look for matchups that favor them now their offensive coordinator Tom Manning is a guy who spent a year in the NFL and he coached with the Colts an all pro tight end so that's something he got to tinker with at the pro level. When he brought some of that back to Ames, he left for one year and came back, brought some of those packages back to Ames, and they really, really maximized the use out of those guys. They're going to give you a ton of different looks. And one of the issues it creates, sometimes they'll have three on the field, but a lot of times they'll have at least two. It creates extra gaps, and you have to defend those and account for those extra gaps. I mentioned Brees Hall earlier. Why has he been so successful? He's a load. He's explosive, Tony. He's a disciplined kid. And much like Letty Brown, he's developed patience. I think I think he's had some time in that system, enough time to develop patience and start to use his blockers as an asset instead of an obstacle, and that makes him lethal. He has a burst. He can plant his toe and go, and also he's, he's something to contend with in the pass game as well. All right, wrap it up for us. What's the key here for West Virginia? Well, I, I think first and foremost, you're going to have to make some big plays on the offensive side of the football because Iowa State is an incredibly difficult team to string drives together. For the third time in four years, they're the least penalized team in the Big 12. They move you in the wrong direction, but don't move in the wrong direction themselves. They'll knock you for losses defensively. They don't get penalized offensively. So I think it's going to take some big plays on both sides of the ball, particularly in the pass game on the offensive side of the ball. All right. Well-rested Mountaineers ready to take their shot at Iowa State. Our pregame coverage begins at high noon on MSN Radio with the Gomart Mountaineer Tailgate Show. Kickoff set for 3.30. Along with Jed Drenning, I'm Tony Caridi, and this has been Football Friday presented by the West Virginia Lottery.